Okay. Now these are an African species. A carousel of kites going round and round James there. That's the kind of activity you would see with black kites hooked up into a thermal, uh, flying with a swarm of insects. You know, it's like a pick and mix, just keep flying, keep going, keep feeding. And it's such an energy efficient way to feed yourself. You know, just travelling for miles on thermals and feeding as you go. Small birds, did I see you duck then? Look at him. Uh, small birds are also caught on the wing and fed from. And there are a couple of falcons uh, that do this, uh, but the kites are specialists at it. Really, really good. Who is that? Is that Sierra? It is Sierra. You trained Sierra, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that explains it. Look, she's on the ground again. Um, We've got all sorts of age ranges, by the way, actually out there, because we do breed our own kites here at the Hawk Conservancy. We have a couple of different breeding pairs that produce birds every year. And the youngsters, like Sierra, who's out there to the ground, instantly he's lost his sausage. What a shame. Very good. You're definitely going hungry. And you can see, actually, it's both the youngsters that are, are doing this at the moment. Um, oh, no. Sorry, I got that wrong. That was, that, that was Quebec that just took that food. She doesn't normally do, join in with the tin. Um, London I haven't seen. London also likes the tin. And for some reason, you've managed to lose all of your kites, apart from the one that you trained. Here we go. Oh, coming in again. Can we do it again? Can we do it? Yeah, can we do it again, but this time we're going to make it harder. Jake, yeah. Jake, well, that was that that was rubbish. You do, you're not going to get anywhere, are you? What we need, to, <laughs> what we want to do, go. Let's see how far he gets. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Clips and barrel rolls. We see them oh. Oh. Look at that. I was just about to say, we see them grappling with each other in midair because they will squabble over a piece of food. You know, I've got it. No, I've got it. You know, and they refuse to let go of each other and it gets very exciting. Um, have you broken... Oh, I thought you'd broken your catapult then. Try not to shoot the kites as well today. <laughs> he makes it... Well, they make it look easy. I was going to say James makes it look easy, but they're so buoyant. I mean, the heaviest bird out there is about one pound ten, one pound eleven ounces. You've gone for it. One, two, three! Oh! So this is Imber coming in to land with Ben this afternoon. Look at that. Very good. One eagle home and safe. And Danebury is Anyone lend us 50p? Uh, African, European, Asian vultures. Uh, these ones are solely found in America. And actually they're a species of vulture which are not classified as endangered. Uh, there's plenty of these birds about. They're very, very common in South America predominantly, although you will find them in North America as well. Uh, you'll find them in some parts of uh, Canada, uh, very, very low points in Canada, the turkey vultures can be found. And their range stretches all the way down America 
almost right, um, turkey vultures have been seen on the Falkland Islands as well, which is a huge, huge area of the world which they populate. Now the black vultures are the ones that I said are particularly graceful. Um, if you have large, they do the predominant of their hunting at night, so they're semi nocturnal they do a bit of work during the early Duck really low, look at that. <laughs> right to the top of your head. They kind of like to squabble a little bit. They sometimes like to land on the same perch. Yeah. They kind of sort themselves out. Now, this species is a northern hemisphere species of owl. Um, you find them in the cold. That's all they really need to say. So if it's really nice and cold, there probably will be great grey owls living in the wild. So think of places like um, Canada and Northern America, Northern Europe, uh, parts of uh, uh, Russia, parts of Asia as well. They're found basically across the whole of the top Northern Hemisphere is where the species falls home. And they will be living in the snowy environments. Uh, they will live in and amongst the, um, the cold and the snow. Uh, they will withstand temperatures exceeding minus 20 or minus 30 degrees. Um, they're full of feathers. Uh, it's been recorded actually there's about 5,000 feathers on the Great Grey Owl to keep them nice and toasty and keep them nice and warm. Cross over, look at that. <laughs> I didn't want Lendor's 50p.